Hello and welcome to your new Commissioning for Value Focus Packs. I'm Matthew Cripps and I'm National Director of NHS Right Care. This short video will help you to work through the pack, highlighting key points and explaining what the data is showing. This collection of focus packs provides more detailed information for local health economies on the highest volume programmes of care that were covered in your Commissioning for Value Refresh Pack published in January 2016. The focus packs include a range of process and outcome measures and information focusing on the most common procedures and diagnoses for which your patients are being admitted to hospital. These measures span the whole of the pathway from primary prevention through to the end of life and facilitate local optimal pathway design and improvement. Commissioning for Value is part of the Right Care programme and approach. The Right Care approach aims to help local health economies prioritise the programmes of care that offer the best opportunities for local population healthcare improvement. By providing you with data, evidence, tools and practical support around outcomes, quality and spend, Right Care helps you to transform the way care is delivered for your patients and populations and therefore um, helps you to reduce unwarranted variation. Please take a look at the video and if you, have any, if you need any more help then please do contact us via the email address at the end. Thank you very much. This focus pack provides information on cardiovascular disease including diabetes and renal. The pack is a real pack but we have redacted the name of the CCG. We will make you aware of where we have reduced the amount of slides in the pack for the purpose of this short video. The first six pages provide background information on right care and commissioning for value. Page seven provides information on the similar CCGs that are used as the basis for comparisons in the pack. These CCGs are selected based on demographic factors such as deprivation and age of the CCG population. The pathways on a page section of the pack begins on page 10 and in your packs you will find the pathways on a page chart that were included in the Commissioning for Value packs published in January. For the purpose of this video we are only showing this CCG's stroke pathway as an example. These charts present a range of indicators from across the patient pathway. Bars above the 0% line mean that the CCG value is higher than the average value of the 10 similar CCGs. For some indicators, a high value is good. For some, a high value is bad. And for some, it is not clear cut. For this CCG, spend on elective admissions is over 60% lower than the average of the similar 10. This is shaded blue because local interpretation is required in order to decide if this is a good or a bad thing. Spend on non-elective admissions is higher than similar CCGs and this is shaded red. Moving on now to the spend slides. This next page, page 20, is an example of spend on elective and non-elective admissions for the different elements of CVD. This shows age sex weighted spend per thousand population for the CCG and the average of the lowest spending five CCGs of the similar 10. Note that this is a different comparison to the pathway on a page, which compared the CCG to the average of all 10 similar CCGs. The advantage of this chart compared to the pathway on a page is that this shows the scale of spend not just the percentage difference from the similar CCGs. For stroke, this is particularly important. Even though the CCG has considerably lower spend than similar CCGs for elective admissions, you can see from the chart that the vast majority of stroke admissions are non-elective. The CCG could save £428,000 a year if it could move down to the level of the five lowest spenders amongst its similar CCGs. Page 27 provides an even more detailed breakdown for stroke. 
This shows that 279,000 of the £428,000 potential opportunity is for cerebral infarction. The next two pages now show information on length of stay and day cases for chronic rheumatic disease and hypertensive disease. The full range of conditions is again covered in your local pack. The next page shows information on expenditure on individual and groups of drugs that are commonly prescribed in primary care. The example page given here is for chronic heart disease medication. This CVD slide now shows information on common procedures performed during hospital admissions for CVD. Again, the full range of conditions is covered in your local pack. On page 70, there's an example of a spine chart providing information on risk factors, prevalence, activity, spend and outcomes. Now, on page 77, we have an example of a spine chart that includes the spend indicators for stroke. The spine chart shows the values for the CCG for each indicator and this yellow dot shows where this falls in the distribution of all CCGs in England. That's the white space in the chart. The light blue bar shows the range of values for the similar 10 CCGs. Now if you look at the fourth indicator down, this shows elective spend. The yellow dot is to the right of the similar 10 bar. That's because the CCG has lower elective spend than all the similar CCGs, and it's one of the lowest in England. The best lowest five opportunity column here is blank for this indicator, because the CCG already spends less on elective admissions than all similar CCGs. So there is no opportunity to improve to the level of the lowest spending five similar CCGs. This is shaded blue because, as per the pathway on a page, local interpretation is required to decide if this low rate of spend is a good thing or whether it might reflect late diagnosis of cerebrovascular problems. The indicator below is non-elective spend. Here, the yellow dot is in the middle of the range of the similar 10. The blue diamond shows the level of the best five CCGs, i.e. those with the lowest spend on non-elective admissions. The best lowest five opportunity box includes the figure of £428,000 from page 20, and this is shaded red. The similar 10 best box names Airedale, Wharfdale and Craven as the CCG with the lowest non-elective spend rate. Also, the green triangle shows the value of the best in the wider cluster. That's being included as a stretch target for those CCGs who are already performing well. Finally, the darker blue bar to the left of the yellow dot shows the worst performing two CCGs in the similar 10. And now we move on to the further analysis slides. Page 86 is an example of a page in this section which show more detailed information for all those indicators that are red or green. Again, the full range of pages is in your pack. And here's another example. Page 132 shows the non-elective spend indicator. The value of £428,000 is repeated on the title line and is shaded red. The top bar shows all CCGs in England with the CCG bar in yellow and the similar 10 shaded grey. The bottom chart shows just the CCG and the similar 10. On that chart the horizontal blue line is the level of the best five where the CCG would need to move to to save that £428,000 a year. Finally. Page 98 shows a similar chart for the percentage of stroke TIA patients whose blood pressure is below 150 over 90. The CCG value here is 83%, or the third lowest. The average of the best five is 85.7%. So if the CCG could improve to this level, an extra 94 patients would have their blood pressure under control 
which is a key factor in preventing a stroke. The length of this video means that we're unable to go into full details about all the elements in the pack, but page 159 shows how to get further support if you require assistance interpreting these packs. Thank you.